Welcome to Savi IT Solutions. In the last video, we discussed about operators in C language and we are also covering 5 operators in the video. Now, we are discussing about the remaining operators in this video. So, operators, operators performing operation between operands, um, they are of uh, different kinds. Uh, uh, exactly 8 types of operators we have and we are discussing in the next so initially we discuss about operators and types of operators okay operators are symbols that triggers an action when applied to c variables and other objects the data items on which operators act upon are called operands unary operator uh, those operators that require only single operand to act upon are known as unary operators examples are increment by decrement operators we can also say that performing operation on only one operand. The second one is binary operators. Those operators that require two operands to act upon are called binary operators. It is also sold, uh, called as uh, performing operation on two operands. Examples are arithmetic, relational, logical, assignment, no conditional and bitwise operators. Ternary operators. These operators require three operands to act upon. Uh, performing operation on three operands example conditional operator so now the operators are actually classified into eight categories arithmetic operators relational operators logical operators assignment operators increment by decrement operators conditional operators bitwise operators and special operators already we discussed up to increment by decrement operators we need to discuss only leftover conditional and bitwise operators in this video so the expression 1 is true then expression 2 will be executed if the expression 1 is false then expression 3 will be executed what is the value it has expression 2 or expression 3 will be assigned to variable this is for seeing in c it is also not assigned to a variable that is also one of the important fact okay it will not assign a value so simple i can say that uh, we can write in a two ways uh, in the next example we will discuss okay no issue so now uh, greatest of two numbers so logic only i am writing remaining parts are not mentioned when i am explaining practically i will show you so the according to the syntax g is equal to a greater than b question mark a colon b this is the one way of representation apart from this okay a greater than b printf percentage d is greatest a colon print of percentage d is greatest b here also we need to print the value of g automatically we will get so either writing these two lines or writing these two lines both are acceptable in c language but in java only top mechanism will take and remaining mechanism will not take so here we are discussing few programs this is the first program we are discussing it then the second one is even or odd okay so even number or odd number same way we are checking it we take n n mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 then printf percentage d is or even n printf percentage d is odd n this is the way we are representing odd number so similarly so the next program is Pause to number or 
negative number. The given number is positive number or negative number. So here, so we take n. n is greater than zero, so that print f. Percentage D is positive number. Again, print of percentage D is new to number n. This is how we are representing it. Similarly, leap year or not? Check the given year is leap year or not. Okay, so here also, year mod four is equal to is equal to zero. Print of percentage D is leap year y colon. Print of percentage D is non leap year. Why? This is way we are writing it. So uh, one more program is greatest of three numbers. Okay. So here we need to check three conditions. One is a greater than b, a greater than c, and b greater than c. Okay. And finally, we are also making as a result. So, A greater than B is true. A greater than C is true. A is greatest. This is true and this is false. C is greatest. This is false. Obviously, we go for this. And this is true. This. And this is false. This is false. This. We can write as C is equal to A greater than B. Question mark. A greater than C. Question mark A. Question mark C. B greater than C. Question mark B. Question mark colon C. So if this is true, A. This is false. Then C. This is true, B. This is false. Then C. If this is true. Then this entire part will be executed. If this is false, the entire part will be executed. So this is the way we are representing in greatest of three numbers. Percentage D is greatest G. This is the way we are doing it. So the next one is bitwise operators. Bitwise and bitwise are bit tidal oper operator. Bitwise XR, bitwise not, shift right, shift left are the operators of bitwise. So, in this, we are learning. Okay, so one difference: this, this, and this are these three bitwise and bitwise are and bitwise not are performed on performing operation on bits, and logical and logical are and logical not are performing operation on relations. But the definitions, the rules are almost all same with these three belongings to logical. So remaining we need to discuss. So let us take a is equal to five. The value of five is okay. Seven we need to take. That's better. So one, one, zero, one, one, zero, triple one. Okay. Now tidal operator applied one triple zero. This is equal to eight. Okay. Similarly. We need to take a is equal to seven is zero one one one, and a is equal to nine is this. Sorry, b. So I want to apply XR relation. So XR relation opposite symbols have the values, and positive uh, same values are not at all. Simple a b a XR b. Zero 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 one one zero one one. So this is zero and this is zero. The remaining all are ones. So according to this truth table, 
we applied these two are the same symbols so we are making it remaining are opposite symbols so we are making it so this value is 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 1 12 plus 2 16 is the answer okay so similarly I can erase the data once right so similarly if you take a is equal to 7 0 1 1 1 now I shift 2 bits towards the right so 0 1 1 1 2 bits are moving right so 0 1 0 0 the value is 1 so left shift to a 0 1 1 1 so identify this left 1 1 0 0 that is equal to 12 this is the way we are operating it ok now coming to the program we need to take a b and two values and we are we performing it so what we are doing is um, printf percentage d sorry bitwise and ok percentage d a and b similarly second one printf bitwise or percentage d a pipe symbol b printf bitwise not tidal of a sorry this of a so again printf tidal percentage d tidal of a printf uh, bitwise exr a cap b similarly shift right and shift left printf shift right percentage d a right shift 2 similarly printf shift left percentage d a left shift 2 this is the way we are representing we are writing in the program of bitwise operators and the last operators are special operators one is not semicolon only comma second one is doctor and doct and third one is size of so comma is represented the variables and dot represents a relation between structure and structure variable and size of is it returns the number of bytes a variable or a data type takes here it prints 4 bytes here it prints 2 bytes of memory it occupies ok thank you